I'll just go back to Judith then. And then the dragon on the lake. The lake is in like this empty area here. There's a cave. There's a cave. Have we been in that area? And there's a cave here as well. Judith is over there. Astrariums. Well, oh, Astrarium. Oh, okay. This is the cave that came from the Astrariums having been completed. Check this out in the meantime. Dispatch for you. No. I don't have time. Speaking of which, yes, requisitions. Dwarven puzzle box. This one's been a long time awaiting. One power. Courtyard upgrade? Upgrades the courtyard to cosmetically reflect the Inquisition's focus. Invest here to select between infirmary space or sparring grounds. Spirit blade hilt. Oh, this is a night enchanter thing. Guess I'll do this. Okay. And then we'll have to go back and choose something, I guess. Cool. Now, back down here. The Astrariums revealed a location to me. A location that's, for some reason, I wasn't able to see even though my camp was here the entire time. <laughs> Did you hear that sound? Well, I don't wanna... I don't wanna fight. Leave me alone. I think it's probably up here anyway. As supposed to down there. Wait, so the red lyrium? Huh. The wyverns weren't affected by it, surprisingly. Oh. What the heck? Oh. That's spooky. Oh, I needed the three things to be unlocked, I guess. And we get a fancy prize here for doing all that. Superb Belt of Fire Resistance. Blade of Tadarian. 49? Um, oh, that's cool, but not the greatest. Thank you, though. I appreciate the thoughts. That belt, on the other hand, probably could be good for somebody. What do I have right now? Andraste? Andraste something? Mm, belt of Magic Resistance. Fire? The fire is 30%, though. That's actually pretty good. Especially against something that you know is going to be fire-related. Probably better this way. Cool. Is there also another cave across the street? There is. Have we been here before? There's lots of caves here. A lot of stuff came out after we unflooded the place. Where, where are we going? Somewhere scary, maybe. Oh, it just goes out somewhere. Shortcut? Oh, that's the exact... Was that the empty area? No, 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 that was over here. Okay, so that's cool, but probably not anything crazy. Mm, in that case, I'm gonna go tell Judith about the wyvern then. Yeah, <laughs> this might be the dragon, where the dragon is. Okay, back over here. Oh, Judith had a strarium right outside her house. Hi. Need something? I killed the wyvern up in the cave. The body's yours if you want it. That I do. Here, for your troubles. I hope you can make good use of it. You didn't even mention there were gonna be three. You happy? I told your friend- Did I tell your friend about you already? A fine day to you. Was that a quest? Until later. Be safe. Your friend who was in the village. I guess I must have, right? I don't quite remember it anymore, but I don't see anything around the village asking me to um, say something. Okay. Well, I mean, that looks like it's about it for here for now, except for the rift. Which, I get this impression it's probably just because I haven't seen most of the map yet. Like, what, this whole area here? It goes all the way down. So why don't we also take this chance to just walk down there and see what else might be down here? Because you know how this place is, the more you walk, the more you find. Some... Oh. Some outlaws are getting pummeled over there. None of my business. 
They can do whatever they want. Oh, hello! Alright. This is the lake? This is the lake? Uh, I'm just... I'm just walking past. You know, I don't... Don't... How far can it see, do you think? I don't know. We had trouble enough with the wyvern. I don't know if engaging in that directly is going to be a good decision here. <laughs> You're not as flashy as most mages, Solus. The Tevinter mages I fought in Saharan tried to scare us with what they could do. Dorian looks like he's waiting for applause after every spell. <laughs> Even Viv has this confident swagger. Not the quiet elven mage, though. No frills, nothing to give you away. Half our targets never even see you coming. I shall take that as a compliment. If you like. It is a compliment, I think. Hmm, looks like dragon territory. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Can we see the level before we engage in it? Do you mind if I just... Hey, I'm just here for the rift. Okay. What? That's a lot of our... Oh, I thought it was all arcane horrors. Scared me. Yeah, you mind if I just check out your neighbors, but not you? I'm just here for your neighbors. Especially since I don't have any focus right now. Earlier, I was able to spam a few focus thingies. But if we can't do that anymore... And I gotta refill on my regeneration potions, too. Oh, come on. Why are you attacking me? Get away. Oh, I think my necklace is... Oh, yeah, yeah, the spell, the spell. I forgot about it. I was staring at my necklace. I, we might not have enough time to um, dispel everything. And we got one. That's fine. We're a little bit too far away. No, no, I'm just chill. I'm actually getting pummeled quite badly here in the absence of a proper barrier. Oh, thanks, Solus. Uh, that guy's definitely looking here. <laughs> I'm already a little bit beat up after all the rift stuff. I don't know about this. Alright. Cool. Cool. I'll just have a look around the general area. See how much further we can go. Uh, this is the lake. This is the edge. And this is the lake. And that is a dragon. <laughs> how far can we go? I don't imagine there's actually anything here though. Or is that a... If you want to fight a dragon, it's so big and it keeps flying around. I feel like having more ranged people might be a good idea. Which, my party today is not the one that I would say I'm most confident with in terms of fighting giant creatures. But we can't have all mages and rogues either because we need someone to tank. Alright, Solus, been thinking. You want to know how this place would be if the Kanari took charge? Orle, Ferelden. All of it would be healthier under the Kuhn. But the war to make that happen, that would be ugly. A lot of good people would die. So I'm not hoping it happens. There. You happy? Happy? No. Quite the opposite. Oh, come on. I said I didn't want us to invade you. <laughs> no. You said this world would be brighter if all thinking creatures were stripped of individuality. You only lack the will to get more blood on your hands. Soulless values individuality. Okay. Soulless is also afraid of dying alone. Oh, there's a schematic. Lightning rune. Oh! Sarah? See what you find if you look? Is this yours? Well, they've even got like a crocodile rug. What the heck? Sarah's codex updated. Hold up. This is yours? Am I stealing from your people? 
It's just a random cave. All right. We can try the dragon, but I feel like we'll probably want to run away. Or at least make a, a very big save right before that. Because I just don't feel like... Can we at least see what, what level it is, though? If we could see that from a distance, that would be cool. Sarah, anything new here? That's about the dragons. Hey, Sarah, there's a dragon for you. Addendum on Red Jenny caches in populated areas. It bewilders how such things go unnoticed, but perhaps that is the power of the practice servant. They are keenly aware of what escapes the preoccupied eye. Sarah, of course, can spy them instantly. She seems an extreme version of a very narrow definition of perceptive. <laughs> I've pressed for a schedule or even some hint of procedure, but she is content to rely on the unknown. It may seem exciting, but I should find it ever so frustrating if I were searching. Hmm. That's it for characters. Let's read about magic here. Spirit of Wisdom When the summoning ritual was complete, the spirit appeared. Both spirits and demons have no gender as we understand it, but this one, much like the rare and dangerous Desire Demon, presented as female. Although its form was not threatening, the spirit carried itself with a confidence, and awareness, I suppose, that I have only seen in the most powerful of demons. The spirit of wisdom was polite and courteous. It answered our questions about the fate, even acknowledging the difficulty when we could not understand what it meant. There was none of the bargaining one normally associates with a summoned creature, save that the spirit sometimes asked us questions as well. Harris shared a mathematical formula he had recently proven, while a Tren explained her study on magical themes in the Chant of Light, and young Reese talked a little about his mother. Reese, When we were finished, the spirit thanked us for the conversation and then vanished, although none of us had dismissed it. We soon discovered that the summoning ritual we had devised was critically flawed. The spirit had been under no compulsion to come or remain. All the time it had talked with us, it had stayed of its own volition. Harris was greatly concerned that such a powerful spirit remained free, and has updated the ritual to correct for the weakness in the binding enchantment. I understand his caution, but I also confess that I quite enjoyed the conversation. I'm not certain the spirit would have talked so freely had it been shackled at the time. Huh. Just summoning spirits? That feels like it's some forbidden magic too, and yet you guys were doing it. Okay. Alright, let's, let's go say hi. Let's go say hi. With my non-full health. I want to save the bigger potions. And we have no... We don't have a camp around here, unfortunately. It probably is a little bit too dangerous to set up camp. Mm, looks like dragon territory. Oh, this is gonna be good. Who's tanking? No one's tanking. Iron Bolt, do something. Oh my god! Okay, I missed. Level 13. Well, levels are deceiving, though. Wait, it's it changes depending on, like, where we aim? The leg? I Iron Bolt, maybe you want to go first. You're the one who said it's exciting. Oh, would you look at that! That is magnificent! Northern Hunter. She sees us. Okay. Well, what do we do? Let's cast the barrier to begin with. Probably a good start. All right, let's go, guys. No static cages? Went just too far? Wait, I'm a bit concerned that I'm the first for- <gasps> Okay. Is there a particular place? If we all focus on the leg, can we disable the leg? Something like that? I'm curious about your resistances. Yes, yes, I... Pff. Immunity, all disabling effects, so no paralysis. Immunity slowed. Perceptive, spirit vulnerability, greater electricity resistance. I'm useless here! I can't do any electricity! I'm useless! Okay, we'll just have to figure it out. See, this is a time where having the Lyrium spam and then doing Immolate might come in handy. Oh. Sarah is already freaking dying somehow. By the way, the battle just started and we're already... Half of our potions are already gone. <laughs> this isn't working. Oh, 
if we want to fight this, definitely unlocking some other new potions might be a good idea. Poison. Sarah, you got some... I activated her focus thing. Hey, next time we come fight a dragon at the minimum, let's have full focuses for everyone. I think that would be good. Oh dear. Sarah's on the other side. You know what? We're sort of... I mean, we're not complete... We are getting pummeled. But we're also taking some of its health away. It's not super horrible. It could be a lot worse, is what I'm saying. Hey, Sarah, if you're that far away... Sarah's gone. Wait, Solus. Why is Revival out of the question these days? Did you use it earlier? Oh, the tail is gonna get us. Wait, I walked so close already. Might as well just get her. So Solus does have five Lyrium potions. I don't know if we can make use of that. Oh, Inquisitor. Is somehow alive. I think Solus's barrier is better than mine. Aw, oh, Solus doesn't have Immolate spam though. Look at the Inquisitor, my god. Wait. Yeah, I no one has no one has barrier right now. This is so scary for her. Oh my god, are we doing it? Okay. How did Sarah die behind me? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's got- Whoa, it's got some, like, windy effects. Hold up. <gasps> but this isn't- Whoa, dude! Inquisitor! Inquisitor has barriers. I gotta give some to our- Oh my god. Dude, I need a barrier, but Iron Bull needs a barrier. Wait, 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 though. I'll walk a little further away. Oh my god. Wait. Mm. This is very bad. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get up. Ye oh, damn, though. Look, this wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, it could have been... We can probably do this. <sighs> if we strategize a little bit more and had more potions and all that. Let's see, though. At this point, this might be hard. Oh, Iron Bolt. I'm sorry, man. Devour. I really need the descriptions of each thing. They make it so difficult. Oh, man. Oh, I'm a little bit torn because it feels like we could do it. It feels like if it was a little, it was just a little bit, the difference. Mm. Let me try again. Oh, would you look at that? That is magnificent. It is. We should get ready. Uh, okay. Just, just start attacking. Start blasting. I don't know if any of the electricity stuff I have even is any good. Oh, it's got me stuck in the... Oh, man.
hanging in here. Hey, if you're gonna focus on me, maybe I'll just give myself a barrier and then everyone else can get distracted. That could be fine too. Oh, Iron Bull, be careful. Oh, no. Where are you, buddy? Sol- Yeah, okay, Solus is doing it. Oh, Solus gave me a barrier! No, give Iron Bull a barrier, please. Don't- Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <gasps> We're hanging in here somehow. I did make it so that everyone would activate their thingies. Thousand cuts. Can you do it right now, Sarah? That good? Iron Bull, just, just go, just go. Solus doesn't have enough focus, unfortunately. But I did change it in their tactics so that they would activate it by themselves, too. Oh! And... Let's see here. Slowly regenerate a little bit. Getting places. I went back and stocked up on potions for everybody. So everybody has some regeneration potions now. Ooh! The like energy barrage works. Who needs barriers here? Solas doesn't have a barrier. Where's Sarah? Sarah probably far away. Oh, I might wanna. I want to do some stuff! Oh! Solus! Solus! You gotta get out of here! You walk a little bit away. No. Oh! Everybody doing alright? Let's see who's... Uh, I'll probably give the barrier to Iron Bolt. We're out of potions already, because everyone has been spamming them. Sarah's not doing too hot. But I think we'll be okay if we just chill out. Okay, Sarah's gone. I'll get her. It's because... The AI is not smart enough to walk out of those AoE attacks. They just stand there and keep waiting. Like right now. Sarah? What? See? <laughs> exact same thing just happened again. All right. Yes? Iron Bull. Let's go, let's go. Can probably do some regeneration here. Oh! The circle we got going on here. Is my regeneration doing anything? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, God! No, not again! Taking all my regeneration potions. Oh, don't follow me, Sarah. You all right? Probably a little bit of that too. But the regeneration takes a while to kick in, though. Let's just be careful about that. Oh, but we're so we're doing it. We're doing it. Come on. Chill, chill. This, the electrical circles around us, I'm not sure what that effect is. Can we see? Oh, I've got multiple regeneration potions on me. <laughs> Arrgh! Oh! Big heroes, us. That was... 
That was great. Yeah. Oh, oh, it disappeared so quickly. I wish we could have gone to see it a little bit longer. What's that buzzing sound? Is that just the music? Dragon. Oh, we got operations for that as well. In death, sacrifice. 156. Rogue only. Life drain. Ring. Plus 10% heal on kill. That would be really good. Inquisitor hat. Intense dragon blood. Dragon's tooth. Lots of good materials. Wow. Oh, the sound might have been like a regeneration potion or something. Cool. Well, Sarah, I think you earned it. If we get a nice thing, it's probably for you. Blight is beaten, and we of the Hammer of Anderfels commit to this memory. Then never will their tales be lost, for without them, the world was doomed. I don't know if it suits you. I don't feel like you're a armor person, but it's yours. You deserve it. Did we get anything else that was... Oh, the ring? The ring plus 10% on kill. It might be good for Iron Bull, because he seems to... Um, pommel Strike. I don't even remember if Iron Bull has Pommel Strike. Rampage? You can have a life drain. Everybody worked hard today. Good job, everybody. No. I want to read about dragons. D. Well, we can probably recognize a dragon, maybe. Can we? Is it this one? What's this one? Black? Dragon. A fully mature adult female dragon is a high dragon. The great monster of legend, the rarest of all dragon kind. These dragons hollow out massive layers for themselves, for they need the space to house their harem of drakes as well as their eggs and dragonlings. High dragons are seldom seen. They spend most of their time sleeping and mating, living off prey their drakes bring back. But once every hundred years or so, the high dragon prepares for clutching by emerging from her lair and taking wing. She will fly far and wide, eating hundreds of animals, most often livestock, over the course of a few weeks, leaving smoldering devastation in her wake. She then returns to her lair to lay her eggs and will not again appear in the skies for another century. Different types of dragons, huh? The Hinterlands one was flying all over the place, trying to um, breathe fire down on us and all, but this one didn't really do that kind of thing. Well, what were you guarding here? Just a broken castle? Or was there something more? It's a bandit flag again. Ooh. This was like its nest or something. A crumpled note. Then saying, Don't be so stingy. Give up the last of your rams if you have to. I'll be gone hunting for a week, so remember. Bring the dragon a hundred pounds each morning. That seems to keep the monster full enough. She doesn't wonder what there is to eat inside our homes. Walker. And I'm guessing they ran out of rams, or they just didn't do it. Got a nice view here, though. Oh! Ferelden Wyvern Statues Wyvern statues found throughout Ferelden were inspired by a legend that Andraste tamed one of the venomous beasts with her song. Note that I say legend and not the chant, for this is wild superstition. We must sternly remind the faithful that any story about the Bride of the Maker outside the Chant of Light is blinkered heresy. Folklore and nothing more. Hmm. Folklore. Even you guys recognize that? It's pretty windy up there. Is that it then? It feels like there is sort of this big area here. I guess we can, while we're walking back... That took all of our potions, by the way. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, we'll just have a glance at what's around here. There's a lot of people. Like, a lot of people. For some reason. But we got the big baddie. And nobody wanted to know that. No, I just did it because... It was a thing we could do. Law Speaker's Assembly. Litke. We've got ourselves a few months' work repairing the dam. The mayor wants us to meet him at the Law Speaker's Assembly to seal the bargain. He says it's where they shake on agreements, judge criminals, hold weddings, etc. Must have been impressive once, if that's where they do official business. Note left by a stonemason for his cousin at Crestwood's Inn. There's no inn here. Not none whatsoever. Sturdy enchanter coat. Huh. Just a random little place. Excuse me? 
Excuse yourself. Whatever you said and what I did, same difference to me. I'd hoped... <laughs> well, our people can sometimes feel the rhythm of the language, despite lacking the vocabulary. Uh-huh. Know what else is good? Words that mean things. Like these. Words. Then he does, Lhasa. Solus and Sarah have completely different viewpoints on the whole elf thing, despite both being elves. I just realized we have a party of three elves and a Kunari. That's probably a band name somewhere too. Yeah, we'll just have a look around this way, sure. Solus is very proud of his elf heritage, while Sarah is like, eh, whatever, I don't really care. Different upbringings and all that. Sarah didn't really have the luxury to, you know, be proud of being an elf. Never bought her any good. I would probably wager that it gave her more trouble than not, because being in Thetis as an elf, you're probably gonna get discriminated against in some way, at some point. What do we have here? Nothing? Just a nice path for us to walk on? I noticed we only have one landmark left. If we could find it, just by randomly coming across it, that would be pretty cool. When we go back to Skyhold next, since we're at Crestwood now, we should probably deal with a mayor we captured from the... Um, the one operation. Oh, can we go this way? This is not just the... Oh, I think this is just... Isn't it? This is where we turn the gear and all that, right? But it's... Okay, then we don't need to do anything. Huh. I mean, we could look down here. Because it looks like there's a little bit more on the side, or is it just wrecks? Wreckages. Giant chains. Nothing for us here at all. Got a nice little bit of embryum. And gold. More gold than we would get if we do a war operation. Isn't that sad? <laughs> is this it? I think so. Oh, there is some stuff here. A pirate booty or something. Okay, that's a lot of gold. That really is. Alright. Well, we sort of filled out the place, but the middle section here is a bit of a mystery to me. What about quest-wise? Oh, now we got a new thing. Dragon Hunter. There's ten. Ten dragons here. Oh, collections! I never even looked at this, I think. Oh. Oh, Crestwood doesn't have a thing because we don't have a quest here. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that seems like a pretty good time to go back to Skyhold. To me. Hmm. Yeah, we're just missing the one landmark, really, which could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. Who haven't we talked to yet? Blackwall, Colin. Yeah, we can start- oh! Upgrade. Courtyard upgrade. Infirmary or sparring ring? Infirmary. Caring and support. Cosmetic upgrade. Oh, so meaningless then. Declares the Inquisition's promise to be both welcoming and protective for all who seek its support. Sparring ring. Declares the Inquisition's investment into the recruitment and training of its soldiers so that all who wish to fight are put to their best use. Mmm, fighting versus healing. I feel like, well... I don't know. It's cosmetic, right? So it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll do an infirmary just because we already had a bunch of people. We saw the people who were sleeping on the ground. The one surgeon down there by the... Um, down over here. Do we get to see it? Will it happen sometime? Maybe later on? Have you seen otherwise? We didn't talk to Cole or Sarah yet either. And is somebody here looking for me? Good day. 
the funniest thing I've seen in years. That cat dancing around, hopping and pouncing like a fool. Made my day bright, it did. Maker knows what got into the little rat catcher. Cat? I want to see the cat. Ah, come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Ah, uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. Do you want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With oh. you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition joining forces. Officially? I'm not gonna say no right off the bat. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. The coast. Which coast? Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. But your official stance with them, are you still a spy? Do they still think you're a spy? You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. I thought the Kunara wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah, just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kune answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change, and a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. I kind of feel like I'm not getting a good feeling from this either. Iron Bull has been here for so long that he's very... He doesn't feel like a Kunari. His mannerisms and stuff, and I don't know about the people that are coming here. But we'll do it, of course. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. Who is Red? Kunari Dreadnoughts. Hey Cassandra, how are you? Just happen to be right here. You're reading? Good book. Ah! I don't know what you're talking about. What were you reading? Wait, are you blushing? What would I have to blush about? You tell me. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. Then show me the book. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords Ooh. and Shields, the latest chapter. Why... why is that embarrassing? That sounds like a... Fighty, fighty, clashy, clashy book. So you like to read? What's wrong with that? It's frivolous. There are more important things for me to do. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tavinta. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. Rude. It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, oh. don't tell Varric. I was going to correct what I just said about the, the clashy clashy thing, because I was going to say, oh, well, actually, it doesn't matter what kind of book you like reading. 
Even if it's money literature, that's that's fine. I, I kind of want to read it. <laughs> Maybe I should read that book. You? No. Why? Why not me? You're the Inquisitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You... You could ask him to finish it. Command him to... <laughs> Pretend you don't know this about me. <laughs> but she actually goes back to reading. It's fine, Cassandra. I think you should even tell Varric about it. He would be... Well, first of all, he would make fun of you first. And then he would be happy to hear that. I understand the Inquisition has tracked down the missing seekers. Care Oswin. I didn't see Ban Loren as the sort of nobleman that would become involved in this war. The sooner we go there, the sooner I can put this search behind me. We will go very soon. Oh, hey, wait. this is new. So, that book you were reading? Uh, yes, what of it? So, under that taciturn shell beats a true romantic heart. <laughs> Why must it be an accusation? Romance is not the sole province of dithering ladies in frilly dresses. It is passion. It is being swept away by the pursuit of an ideal. What is not to like about that? No, you're right. You're right. I'm saying you don't need to be embarrassed about it. I'm glad you see it that way already. Don't get me wrong. I like this side of you. I don't swoon. I meant the passion. Oh, <laughs> well, that's not so bad then. It's fine, Cassandra. It's... it's okay. It's just... calm down. The older we get... Because uh, we... we live in a society, uh, literally. And we start building up a conception of what others want to see from us. And then we play our role. And then, at some point... Good work out there, Voss. Those blighted nugs won't infect anything now. Shade, thanks for joining in on that escort for Lady Montillier. Whatever. She's great, right? At some point, you... Oh, that kind of made me lose my train of thought here. Especially with the bard in, in the background. But I was just gonna say, like, you, you start doing something or you like something that goes against what people's image of you is, and then you end up like Cassandra. So don't be like that, you know? It's, it's okay to like anything, as long as you're not hurting anybody. Training hard, Inquisitor. You have the best people, and we're gonna help. Oh, I got a new one. All right, cool. Keep up the good work. You happier with the champion off with the wardens? There were wardens in Kirkwall too. Now, oh, Piss, here we go. No, it's better you not know. Let that weight be mine. Yes, let it. I guess this means we're not gonna see Hawk for a while or at all anymore. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Why did she make it so difficult? This is blocking everything. Sarah, about Adamant and what happened in the Fade. Whoa! What's happening? A good shot. Why are you angry? Shut up and listen, yeah? Never again, you hear me? Everyone is pretending it made sense. Demons and visions and all of it. The Fade isn't real. And I saw nothing. Nothing. They were like... little empty things. Like there's nothing in the dark. No point. Stupid, right? That shouldn't be scary, like... like it was. I'd have taken spiders. Like you! You're scared of spiders. All of them. Even little ones. I am. But you're not afraid of spiders. That's why they won't show you spiders. Pretty much scared of all spiders, yes. That's no good. I mean, they're everywhere. I bet even right here, just crawling with those legs and hairy eyes. That's hairy probably eyes. not helping. It's stupid to think about anyway. Everybody going on about imaginary stuff when real people died. Probably. Stroud, yeah? Lost a serious moustache there. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerim, when the blight ended. Kind of like 
harbingers of ill fortune. A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight and they died, or I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden. You forget the hero of Ferelden. That was ages ago. Ten years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. She's really shaken up. She doesn't enjoy the fade. It feels very not concrete. And like, because, you know, we, we try to operate... We, we uh, exist in this world that has set rules and stuff, and the fate is all messed up. You have a problem. That over there is a full tavern, but everyone's drinking alone. They're all up their own asses about the Inquisition. I can't have fun with everybody whinging, and they'll fall on their swords before Corifinus can push them. I'm thinking pranks. Set a few up, knock a few down. You win or not? Pranks are okay, but you can't hurt people. All of these are saying no. <laughs> you have an odd idea of preparation. I need to keep them at their best. What's best then, Mopey? Constantly ready for death to fall from the gaping hole up there. <laughs> I know people. Pissed off and fired up is better than dreary bleary. Come on. I'm just scared about your your brand of prank. I'm not gonna say it doesn't sound like fun. I, I think it, it could be fun to a degree, but I'm I'm just scared how far you'll go with the pranks. Just you and me, you know. I would like that. Sure, that could work. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Let's go. He's weirded out. Like, what the hell? <laughs> What did you bring me? Right, General Uppetite is gone. Have a search about. Find something to mess with and give your soldiers a laugh. Oh, should the Inquisitor be doing this? I guess we're doing it. What, the desk? Oh, yes. Center of the Empire and all that. What to do? What to do? Y you tell me. All right, Sarah. What do you want to do? Thing looks heavy. Don't want to move or break it. Yes. I got it. Easy one. Just a slip of something under here. There. Won't notice much, but it's just that little bit wonky. He's so <laughs> in control that'll piss him royally. I tell one of the soldiers and boom, the general seems like people. And since he works for you, you seem like people. Come on, next one. Okay, that's fairly harmless. And there's a, there's a madness to the logic about making me seem like people. Right. Or there's a logic to the little madness. Lady prissy pants. <laughs> Have a look for something she likes too much. Too much? Right. Little lady prissy pants. Have a look for something she likes too much. The door? What, just the door? Where she greets every important idiot. Yes! Well, Sarah, what do you have in mind? Um, <laughs> get a bucket. Classic, yeah? Five minutes of sloppy boss gets you weeks of happy kitchen staff. Except for the one who cleans it up, I suppose. But whatever. Next up. Ooh, this one might not be so... <laughs> that might not be so harmless. That could drench somebody's clothes and all that. That was something we read before? Yes, it was. Oh, I just realized the other option. Hold on, let's see it again. What are we doing like now? What now, Liliana? What's that? A locked? No, leave that. Not interested in her hidden things. Not for just a bit of fun. Maybe feed her messengers something gassy? Oh. I don't know, bears don't pop. But they flap and... Uh... Hmm. Who is up there? Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody! Go! <laughs> that was fun! An inquisitor of the people, still remembering you're one of them. 
If all they got was the Herald stuff, the serious bit, you'd start to sound pretty scary. That works, but not for long. I should be someone they can look up to and respect. <laughs> you their leader or their mummy? Maybe some of them want that, I suppose. Up to you, oh herald of everything. It was fun chasing you, Inquisitor. Nice for you. Whoa. You! Oh, frig. Oh, no. You did it. <laughs> Josephine, I can explain. I'll go to Val Royal right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit... I think the Josephine one was a little bit mean, but you gotta indulge in Sarah sometime. Oh, the monsters smile. She's not singing. A man, his kin, through blood and sin, a bastard of the gloom, a rising cut through bone and gut, an awful skyward blue. I think this one is simply not my style. Keep at it, Meriden. I think, I mean, I feel like overall, yeah, lightening up the mood around here, not necessarily a bad thing, but I think Sarah probably gets on people's nerves more often than not, especially the kitchen staff. <laughs> we already read the notes about that. I'll ask around again. No. But you like demons! I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. Am I interrupting? He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Bind you to what? Bind you to him? That's a big decision. We've already seen how things like that can go with Anders. Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. From? If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. Calm down, Cole. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us, human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too, and then someone can bind him. That probably isn't going to work out well. We'll find a way to keep you safe without binding you, Cole. I have a suggestion, if Cole is ready to listen. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit? Wearing an amulet of the Unbound was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. Good idea. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Cole... Cole and Solus get along really well. They really mesh. Cole, we need to investigate a little bit more into him though, because he's... Always quite cryptic and not mentally or emotionally the most stable, too. It started out helping, taking the fear away. I won't take too much. I am not that. You're talking about Nightmare? Oh, we can ask about stuff. So, Cole. Can I assume you're responsible for the turnips that have shown up in the fireplaces? They don't smell the same, Raw. Hmm. He needed that soldier to smell them so he could die thinking he'd gone home. He did go home. Good. Someone stole an entire cheese wheel. Mice like cheese. Do mice also like bowls of crushed mint? That was for the cats. So the cheese lures the mice and oh, the mice lure the, the cats. cats and then they smell the mint. Mint makes the cats dance and play. And that's, that's a good thing. Let's talk about something else. All right. Okay, well, keep up, keep up the good work, Cole. <laughs> so, Cole, someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. No, I don't daggers. think we found the thing for this Was one yet. you? They were safer there. Yeah, we haven't seen the consequences wherever it is. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Okay. 
Well, you keep up the good work, Cole. Okay. What did I tell you? Hmm. I think we're we're settling into a nice rhythm here with our friends, and they're asking us to do a lot of stuff, which is probably cue for me to get back to the war table and then head out again. The next thing I want to the next like non cleanup thing I want to head out to, where would that be? Maybe it's time to go to a new place entirely. What did they recommend again? Exalt? Did someone say exalted plains? I haven't been there yet. We'll see. Hi, Varric. Who is that? I appreciate the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the guild found out, or... what's his name? Are you worrying for me or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. I am the expendable one, after all. Oh, <laughs> Don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. Bianca? Your name is Bianca. It's a common name. Half the girls in the Merchant's Guild are named Bianca. The other half are named Helga. I lucked out. I agree. I take it you're a friend of Varric's. Who isn't a friend of Varric's? You have met him before, right? Any friend of Varric's is welcome here. Be careful saying things like that. Some of his friends you don't want to meet. Well, maybe you do. Who am I to judge? Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got his red lyrium. The site of Bartrand's folly, the tag Varric found, has been leaked. There's a deep roads entrance crawling with strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. Wait, the tag is called Bartrand's folly now? Damn. You can get there from Orlay. It's a long way to the free marches. The deep roads are all connected. Or they used to be. Collapses and such. Some of them on purpose. They really are roads. They spanned the Dwarven Empire, went to every corner of the continent, maybe further. In theory, you can get to any Taig using the deep roads, but in practice, well, there's a reason nobody uses them anymore. How do we know they're not using multiple entrances to get to the Taig? Navigating the deep roads isn't like the surface. There's no accurate maps of the whole system, and there are cave-ins, dark spawn, lava floods. If you find a route that gets where you're going, you don't deviate. Trying to find another way could be deadly. I'm not the biggest fan of the deep roads. Who could have given away the Tig's location? There were a few people who knew. Hirelings from the expedition, a couple of close friends. How they found out isn't important. What matters is we know where they are now. If it's such a secret, how do you know about it, Bianca? I told her. Right after the expedition, I wrote and told Bianca what we found. I had artifacts that needed buyers, and she had more contacts that would pay for them. Plus, I owed her. Before, we knew that it was dangerous, so he went and told a lot of people back then. We need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. This is Laura Bailey, isn't it? Right. That's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance. Everyone wants me to do everything for them. Valimar. Well, shit. <laughs> okay. Something else? Something you wanted to talk about? About that lead of yours, Varric. Sure. The sooner we take care of it, the better. Do you think this lead of hers is real? Bianca's too much of a researcher to pass me information without verifying it first. But if you're asking whether she'd lie to us, maybe set us up, it's possible. Not likely, though. She risked the wrath of the Guild coming in person. A message would have sufficed. Whatever she found in that entrance shook her up. That worries me. That's right, she came in person. That's not allowed. They can't see the clouds and all that, you know? Okay. <laughs> Lead with the, the not controversial ones first. Tell me the truth, Farrick. Do you actually think I was sent by Andraste? Oh, shit. This is going to be awkward. I guess I do. 
Either you're guided by the hand of some higher power, or you have the worst luck. I wouldn't have pegged you as an Andrastian. It's a great story. It's got heroism, love, betrayal, and random musical numbers. What's not to like? I don't have a nug in this race. It could be bullshit, it could be true. I'll never know. But I like the idea that maybe you could save the world with a song. I can get behind that. Let's be realistic. It could be both. You've got a point. Look at all the shit that's happened to you. You were saved from the explosion that leveled a mountaintop and fell out of the Fade. You traveled through time, faced down one of the ancient magisters who started the Blights, had a mountain fall on you, and lived, stopped an army of demons. One of those things would be impossible. All of them together? That's a miracle. Somebody's gotta win the lottery. I'm starting to see your point. Just try to warn me before falling into the Fade again, would you? I hate that place. Hmm. Well, I didn't bring you last time, so I guess you're thankful for that. Need something? Or are you just here to admire the dwarf? I have a request, actually. Wellens, are you gonna really rat her out immediately? Just say, just mention the book, don't mention the person. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. Oh my god. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. <laughs> the last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Hey, that's not directly correlated. The quality of a product and how much money it makes, completely not correlated. Yeah, I'm sorry, Cassandra. I'm just gonna rat you out. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. <laughs> On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. Fine. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. Why don't you make it better then? Make the sequel better. But then... It's still gotta be in the same vein of stuff that Cassandra likes, okay? You can't just half-ass it. 